Obacertinib has been one of the most exciting drug classes for a while. It targets this unique category of what's called exon 20 EGFR insertions. It's only insertions. It's only about two to three percent of lung cancer patients, uh, depending on sometimes four, sometimes two, small number. But it's been a very tough area to crack because it's a driver mutation. It tends to be seen in non-smokers uh, and younger, healthier people. And the classic EGFR inhibitors have not shown activity. There was one small exception. There was one study using high-dose osimertinib that in very small numbers of patients maybe showed a benefit. Uh, but there's now a TKI that was designed directly for this called mobocertin. Uh, and there is clear evidence of activity with response rates, at least preliminarily in the second line setting, between 26 to 40%, depending on how you look at the data. Um, so it's been very, very promising. Uh, it's currently uh, been fast-tracked at the FDA, so we're waiting to hear from that in the next six to 12 months. Uh, but the studies are ongoing. And the pivotal cohort called the EXCLAIM cohort is part of that, and you know, that is the registration aspect. Um, but we participated in a lot of the data is based upon the phase one, two study um, with the re recommended phase two dose of 160 milligrams. So again, very high priority. It's a new area. There are other drugs in this class. There's something called amivantinab, which is a monoclonal antibody, completely def different mechanism of action, same concept against exon 20 insertions. And both of those we hope will be approved in the next uh, year or less, which will be great for patients.